hit with the most shocking news that could ever have happened. I'd have been struggling over this past year with something I didn't know was wrong. And now I know. The doctor, well, he straight up told me that in the last episode, I had a year to live. I'd have been diagnosed with a life-threatening disease that the doctor said he, he'd rarely ever seen before in his entire life. And just like that, I'll go from one of the best footballers in the world to potentially making this my final year on this earth. Of course, my family was shocked. My teammates were shocked. The media, everyone. Who could it be? Jordan Jarvis, myself. I'd worked so hard to get up to this point, grinding throughout my entire career, now making it to Chelsea. We're 88 overall, and I've been told this? My family obviously supporting me along the way, getting any treatment that I can to hopefully beat this disease, which doctor said it may near be impossible. I don't know where I go from here. I don't know if this will be cured. But all I know is, with this life-altering ultimatum, I gotta make the most of what could possibly be my final year. This has taught me a lot. What has been going on about life and how I should cherish every single moment. And I'm trying to live as if it is going to be my last year, but also trying to live as though it isn't. Because I'm trying to get this disease fixed every single day, going to the hospital, getting my treatments, and over time, the doctor has seen some improvements, but he still isn't as hopeful as myself. And as for my football career, well, it's been put on a little bit of a hold. I've still been going to training. I've still been meeting with my team, in the media, man, of course, every single day, once an update, I've been telling them, yo, let, like, let me have a little bit of space right here, man. I don't want to go out if this is my final year with cameras in my face flashing every single moment. It is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. They need to get their story. Over these next few months, I'm going to have to take some time off of football, get these treatments, and if things start ticking upward and things get better, I can return to the pitch. But until then, I'm still going to be there to support my teammates along the way, support this club. And obviously, football is the game that I love. So I never want to give that up. I always want to be around the game, even if it is going to be my final year. So Jordan Jarvis, we got a lot of work to do, but we need to beat this. Things are getting a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie, man. As the months move on, there's been some progress, but not a whole lot. This was a life-changing day, though, right here. January 1st, this was where the doctor was gonna give me a bit of an update on where things sit. Did he still think I only had, well, at this rate, half a year left? He said no. He actually gave me some hopeful news that things were getting better and there were actually going to be some improvements. He even gave me some clearance to well, give football another chance and see how you feel. Start training. So that's what I did. I'd been showing up every day and just watching training. Well, now I'd been actively participating. And over these next few weeks, well, the manager wanted to play me. We had that chat. We sat down and we started chatting with each other. He just wanted to make sure that I was okay. And you know i just wanted to get back out there sitting and watching the games watching training every single day oh man i love supporting the team but i wanted to get back out there and i wanted to play and although this may not be the best decision the doctor gave the clearance and he said you well, at this rate things really couldn't get any worse so he talked with the manager and he said jordan i trust you i want to see you back out on the pitch you're in so for this next game, we'll be in the starting 11. And one of the reasons I think he wanted me in is because well, this Chelsea team, they've been struggling a little bit. Yes, we did top the group, so fair enough there. But we are sitting in ninth place in the Premier League. So this team is struggling a bit. And we're in. Back to try to turn this team around. Chelsea against Everton. 
back in the starting 11. It feels a bit weird. All the cameras are pointing my way. All the fans are waiting for the return of Jordan Jarvis. Here it is, boys. January Everton against Chelsea. And going into this game, man, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, what if I, I start running around and like 10, 20 minutes into the game, I just start feeling super tired. I don't want anything to happen. Although the doctor said pretty much nothing can get worse from where it's at. I, I still don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't want to fall over mid-pitch. I don't want to have that on me. I don't want to be hurting my team like that, hurting myself. I'm just going to try to go out here, forget everything that's going on, and play the game that I've played my entire life, that I know how to play so freaking well. Let's get in to this match. Chelsea Everton, Jordan Jarvis back rocking the number 10 kit. And here we go. Live from Stanford Bridge. It is time to get into this game where Chelsea are back going strong. It is a goal. It is 1-0. We take the lead. We don't get the assist, but we set up the pass, boys. And it's Christian Pulisic, who for some reason also was wearing the number 10 kit. Not sure really why that is. And oh, man. Did this team miss me ever? I'm not really getting involved in these plays super, like, consistently, but I am involved somewhat, and I am setting up these passes, these goals. I'm not getting the assist. I'm not getting the goals. I am a little bit all over the pitch. You know, my positioning is a little bit off, but we're winning. It is 2-0, but not for long. 2-1 Everton with the comeback chance. Turnover in the midfield, and there it is. It's, a, it's one back for Everton. Man, it feels so weird being back out on this pitch after taking so long off. And, of course, after all the treatments that I've gone through, Everton 2-2. Oh, no. Is this what Chelsea have been doing the whole time while I'm gone? Taking leads and then giving them right up. Literally 30 minutes in, and it's 2-2. And we'd have a chance to get on the scorebook. I'm not going to lie in this one, man. I haven't really been involved too much, like I said. I haven't gotten too many shots on. Not really any chances to get assists. That was one of my first shots of the game. It felt a little weird, but I just got to get back into the groove, man. Get back into the swing of things. Everton, 2-3, just like that. We've given up this lead, and we are now losing, man. Chelsea, let me tell you, they're ninth place for a reason. They've been struggling, and the struggle would continue. 90th minutes, it's Everton. It's 2-4. There it is. Right as we are here. In the closing minutes, it is going to be a GG, and they're going to walk away with the win. The win, honestly, isn't really so much that matters in this game. What matters is that I was just able to play a full 90 minutes. Could this be the comeback of Jordan Jarvis? The matches would continue, and I wouldn't be playing every single game, but the manager would throw me in here, throw me in there for, you know, whether it be an FA Cup game, a game against a lower Premier League team, and I'd been doing well, but every match would end in me just coming home, falling in bed, and being extremely tired, extremely exhausted. I could tell, although the doctor said he thought things were getting better the way I felt, Things were getting worse and worse and worse. And I just hoped for the best every single day, but I knew something wasn't right and this actually might be the final year. I continued to play every game the manager wanted to put me in, but it was a struggle. Day in and day out, being able to recover from these matches. What would happen as the season winds down? We fast forward to the end of the season. Like I said, we've been playing some, we hadn't been playing others. And we made it all the way to the Champions League final. And we're here facing Real Madrid. I wasn't expecting to play this game, man. I hadn't been playing the best when I'd been out on the pitch. And I'd been meeting with the doctor before every game, checking up on my status. And he said I would be fit to play this game if the manager were to choose me. Again, I fully was expecting to be on the bench. When I had played, I'd only scored a few goals this year. I hadn't really done anything special. So heading out to this one, was looking forward to just watching my team compete for the Champions League final. That was until I met with the boss. He knew the circumstances. He knew what was going on. He knew this quite possibly could be my final football game, whether I do end up not beating this disease or retiring after this season. He said, Jarvis, you're in. 
here it is. The Champions League final versus Madrid. I've never been this nervous walking out on a pitch before, walking down the tunnel. I never felt the way that I felt right here. Regardless as to what happens, whether I survive or not, this could be it. With what I'm facing right now, football, either way, could be a thing of the past after this. So I need to go make the most of what could be the final game of my entire career. The spotlight is on me. The spotlight is on myself, my brother, Chelsea versus Real Madrid. This final is about to commence. Jordan Jarvis is about to play what could be the final football game of his career. So without further ado, it's time to get in to the 2025 Champions League Final. What a moment taking the field for this Champions League final. The trophy sitting right there. This would be the perfect way to go out, man. Playing here in the biggest spotlight in the entire world alongside the person that I love the most, my brother. The Jarvis brothers taking the pitch for this all-important, crucial game. Real Madrid, Chelsea. I've worked so hard my entire career, man. What happened? This last summer, this diagnosis was something obviously no one could predict, but it happened to me. And I'm strong enough to fight through this, battle through this. I may be fatigued, I may be tired. This thing may be just destroying me from the inside, but I can't let it beat me. And I must win this match. Chelsea, Real Madrid. It is time to get in, boys, to the Champions League final. Here we go. The final match of the career. Or will it be? Will it not be? All I know is we're taking a 1-0 lead. There it is, boys. The assist. And what a start. This is what we needed. Jarvis to Jarvis. The connection that you've seen so much throughout this entire series. It's happening again. And of course, bro, we got to celebrate right there in the corner. An incredible start to this all-important match, man. Oh, my God. The pace that we have up front. This is my final game. I think that might be the one thing I miss the most. Being out on the pitch with my bro. Around Madrid. Hey, they were no joke. 1-1, one, one, 20 minutes in to this match. They grabbed the goal back. And just like that, man, we must turn this thing around. It is going to be a long one here. We're playing it at Old Trafford. The Champions League final taking place in England, of course. We got a ton of fans. But, y'all, Real Madrid is showing out as well. And look at this. One thing I've yet to do in my entire career, boys, is score from a free kick. It's the best part of my game. I just never get the opportunities. So what an opportunity this could be. I hit it off the wall. Could you imagine how special of a moment that would have been in the Champions League final to score a goal like that? Shot from Real Madrid. It is saved. And with only two minutes left, that would be it for the... F or would it? Would it be it for the first half? Because Jordan Jarvis is through on goal. He's got men to pass it to. But he takes it himself. Jarvis in the 45th minute. Three minutes of added time. The counterattack. No one expected that one to play on like that. Real Madrid was not ready. They were expecting that corner to be the final play of the half. And oh my goodness, what a moment that was. And that would be how the half would come to an end, boys with Chelsea in the lead. Let the second half begin with a chance for Real Madrid and what would be an equalizing goal in the 60th minutes. Oh boy, it's now tied. This game is level. Our defense was hanging in there for as long as they could. They've struggled this year in the Premier League, but in the Champions League, for whatever reason, we've been playing well. It has happened again here, man. We love giving these leads up. And it was some good passing. I'll give him that. The 1 2. Maybe poor marking from a defender, but there's not much we can do about that. Golasso, 2 2. We got to be on the comeback. If extra time and penalties are possible, well, they are definitely possible. But if it does come down to that, we're ready, man. Although my stamina might not be. I'm even trying to defend in the later minutes of this game. 
a miss here in the 78th minute and in the 85th minute yet another save Real Madrid were looking like just the more fit stronger team later down the half but that would be the end of the half in the end of the 90 minutes extra times and potentially penalties are on the way this is how it ends When we start speeding things up, I think you guys know what that means. A boring extra time and straight to the penalty shootout we go. This is kind of what I'm built for, man. I'm not going to lie. During those final 30 minutes, I was just walking around on the pitch. The manager knew it. We were out of substitutes. But one thing I can do is take a penalty. So let's hope that I get chosen. I think the manager is going to send me up there at some point. But here we go into it. And it's a miss. Not the start we were looking for by any means we're gonna need a save or a few misses from Real Madrid Victor Osiman he's gonna bang that and we need a big one from Pulisic oh my goodness I thought it was out but it bangs off the crossbar it looks to be a perfect pen and finally the miss comes Real Madrid in Diego Carlos we're now all level here boys so we just need to make the rest of the pens from here on out and it's saved yet again Chelsea fall behind and Real Madrid bang it. So it's now 2-1. They take the lead yet again. And here comes Jarvis. We need this to be perfect. This could be the last time I touch the ball ever on a pitch in my entire career. And of course we're banging it. It is the first goal I've ever scored in my career on a penalty shootout. And the miss from Real Madrid gives us hope. Havertz to take. Havertz gives us the lead 3-2. And all we need is a save or a Real Madrid miss. And we've won the Champions League final. Fought it to take the pen. There it is. Chelsea have won the Champions League. And what will end up being the final match for Jordan Jarvis. What a career. What a moment. What a match, what a season, what a game. It's all over. And Chelsea are on top. From growing up in the streets of Belgium, playing with each other every single day, we dreamed of this moment. Raising a Champions League trophy, it's coming true today, and I honestly can't believe it. I'm tired, man, believe me. I wanna just lay in bed right now, but the adrenaline is pumping. It has just sunk in. I am a part of one of the best teams in Europe. The best team currently in Europe. What a career. That's all I can think. And all I want to do is raise this trophy with my teammates. We've worked so hard to get to this point, man. It's been the most difficult year of my life. For it to end like this, what a moment. What an opportunity. What a time to be alive. Jordan Jarvis, take a bow. We're raising this one high as Chelsea are on top. Champions of Europe. Congratulations to the Jarvis brothers. What a season. What a career. What a moment. can't believe it just like that I've played the last game of my professional career I didn't think honestly it would come to an end this soon but at this point there really is no other choice I grew up playing this great game for my entire life and I'm gonna go out playing this game if this is it this is the way that I want to do it this is the way I want things to end it's been one hell of a journey and this is exactly where we started this career mode. If you look back to the very first scene of the first episode, it's time to go and leave this game behind. What a career it's been for Jordan Jarvis. Just a few weeks later, Things took a turn for the worse and I was back into the hospital. My family was all there and the doctor said that 
it didn't look like things were going to be good from here. I told my family not to worry. I told them that everything happens for a reason. And I told my brother that he needs to continue playing this game and carry on my legacy. Those were my final words. The final words of a legend. What a life. And just like that, Jordan Jarvis is no more. With my whole family there, grieving the loss, stories being told of my life. You know, I didn't have the best relationship with my father, but after what had happened in that final year, we actually grew very close again, and he was there. With my best family, my best friends surrounding me, some of my teammates, even in the pouring rain. This was a life lost that Man, truly everyone would remember. And no one more than my brother. My best friend throughout my entire life. A friend, a brother, a teammate, a bit of everything. I told him in my final words to carry on that legacy. So that's what I want him to do. And that's what he's going to do. After that night, my brother sat there reminiscing of everything that had happened. And at this point, this is where things end. The story of Jordan Jarvis has been told, and it's now officially over. But the story of someone else is waiting to be told. My brother Joel. This career mode can continue if you guys would like with my brother taking over the spotlight and taking over this career mode. Transferring it from one player to another. Whether it be here in FIFA 21 or when FIFA 22 begins. If you guys can hit 20,000 likes and we get enough support in the comments, we may make it happen. But if it doesn't, what a career it's been. Jordan Jarvis is no more, but the legacy will reign forever. I appreciate the support, guys. What a series this was. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time.